What is Z? It can't be a real number because the sine function defined for real numbers is bounded from 1 to negative 1. So it has to be a complex number because a complex definition of sine is unbounded. So we can rewrite this as e to the negative i g minus e no neg negative of this plus this to the i times z over to i we move this to the other side and it is this Two times six hundred sixty six is one thousand three hundred thirty two. Then we multiply both sides by e to the i z. This becomes e to the i z squared. The powers add to zero, so negative e to the power of zero is negative one. And this is just this. We move this to the other side, so that is negative 1332 i e to the i z and close to 0. We can move this so it looks nicer e to the i z squared minus 1332 i e to the i z minus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic formula x equals b minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. a in this case equals 1, b equals negative 1332i, and c equals negative 1. Let's do it. So, the unknown or x is e to the i z. So, e to the i z equals negative b. b is this. So, negative b is 1332i plus minus square root of b squared. The b squared i times i is negative 1. So, it's negative. 1774224 plus 4. And all of this is over 2a, a equals 1, so all of this is over 2. Now, this, the square root of this alone, is this. But if you add up 4, then it's very close to this. But it's not this, but we're gonna assume it's this to make things simpler. So e to the i z equals 666i plus minus 666i. Now, to find what this is, what i to find z, we're gonna first take the natural log of both sides. So, natural log of e to the i z equals natural log of 666i plus minus 666i. Now to make things easier, we're gonna change this into e to the i z we're going to factor out the i's. i times 666, not i, nothing here, plus or minus 666. Now this will make it a lot easier. Natural log of, well, yeah, natural log of i times 666 plus minus 666. Now, natural log of something times something, we can break this up into two natural logs. So natural log of e to the i z 
is natural log of i plus natural log of 666 plus minus 666. Now everything is alright. Wait, first these two cancel, so this is i, z. Everything's okay except from this. Now, to find what this is, let's look at just any complex number z, which is equal to the real part plus the imaginary part, a plus bi. If we were to graph this with the imaginary axis here and the real axis here, z, Here, this is B and this is A. This will be R, which is equal to absolute value of Z, which is the distance from the origin to Z. And this will be theta. Now, if you know basic trigonometry, you can see that this is that Z is the same thing as R times cosine of theta plus i sine of theta and if you know Euler's formula e to the i theta equals cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta you can see that z is r times e to the i theta now Let's plug in the values for i. If we plug in the values for i, then i equals r. What is r? i is here and i is one unit up. Sorry. So it's 1 times e to the i theta. The theta is the angle of i. The angle is clearly 90 degrees or pi over 2. So i equals e to the i pi over 2. And plus 2 pi n. Because you can add this angle 2 pi as many times as you want and you always reach the same angle. So there's a more general form. That will, now that we know what this is, if we take the natural log of both sides to find what the natural log of i is, we see that the natural log having e inside will cancel, so it leaves us only with the power i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. So this is what natural log of i is. Let's continue then. We found that i z is equal to natural log of i which is i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n plus natural log of 666 plus minus 666 so Divide both sides by i, so z equals 1 over i times i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n plus 1 over i natural log of 666 plus minus 666. Now this becomes 1, so z equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi n this we don't like the i in the denominator so we multiply it by i over i which is 1 so it doesn't change anything and this becomes negative i times natural log of 666 plus minus 666 and this is our final answer for what to put into the sine function to get out 666. 
बाय